Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to explain the directional attitude indicator, which displays in the lower left hand corner of your DJI Go 4 app, and also the three parameters displayed in the lower left hand corner of the screen. In short, what it does is display the aircraft's position relative to the real horizon and displays the nose face facing direction of the drone relative to the pilot. First, you open up the DJI Go4 app, press the button on the top right corner of the map uh, to display the map or the attitude indicator. The attitude indicator displays the attitude, relative position, and nose orientation of the aircraft. When the aircraft flies forward or backward, or nose up or nose down, the blue level will ascend or descend or show the pitch relative to the horizon. When the aircraft flies left or right, the wings tip or bank. The blue line will incline to the corresponding side. When the aircraft rotates its nose, the red arrow on the map will also rotate. There's a cone of green light in the front uh, of the arrow on the map, which indicates the orientation of the camera lens. The center of the attitude indicator displays the position of the remote controller. When the aircraft flies away, the red arrow will move away from the center location. Now there are three parameters displayed at the bottom of the attitude indicator. H displays the relative altitude between the aircraft and the takeoff point. D displays the horizon's distance between the aircraft and the takeoff point. And V displays vertical flight speed. When you're in sports mode, you'll get an additional feature, a power output meter wrapped around the edges of the attitude indicator. This will show you the percentage, how hard you're pushing the spark. Lastly, there's an arc indicator along the top or bank index, which shows how far the spark has tilted. The white triangle is the zero arc, and when not at zero shows a visual representation of what's called bank. Okay, let's go outside and see how this really works in an open field. All right, so I'm out here in an open field. I'm just gonna demo what this is gonna look like for you. In, a, in an open environment and I uh, got a headwind coming at me maybe four or five miles an hour. I got the uh, remote controller in my hand with the spark, sparks facing downfield here and just for a visual representation so you can kind of see what's going on. I'm going to record the screen from the DJI GO app. Um, I'm going to rock it right, rock it left, turn it right, turn it left. And you'll see, you'll see how that affects, you'll see how that affects the attitude indicator on the DJI Go app screen. So hopefully it'll make a little more sense. I'll launch it, I'll stand right in front here, and you can kind of see real time what's going on on the uh, attitude indicator. And uh, again, hopefully it makes a little more sense as you see it flying. Now I'm going to bring it back, pulling, pulling back all the way on the throttle. You can see how the blue horizon line changes. And if I go left and right across the screen, hopefully you guys can see that. One more time, left, 
right, on the left. Like I said, I have a little bit of uh, wind coming out of here. I'm just going to go forward and backward. You can see how that changes the horizon, the blue horizon line as well. Forward, back. Again, just kind of showing you the horizon line there changing as we're moving it around. Now I'm going to send it off a little ways and I'm going to turn it around and you'll see the uh, red arrow indicator. Um, turn around as well. Now it is relative to the controller which I'm facing forward, but if I turn the controller you can see that the arrow changes, but it's from the perspective of the drone. So even if I turn it upside down, well, I can't turn it upside down, but uh, you see that it's always giving me the direction which the drone, which the spark is facing, no matter which way I turn the controller. So that's a good, that's a good uh, thing to keep in mind. If you send the spark out, let me just turn this around. Uh, so that's a good thing to keep in mind. Because if you send the spark out, like I'm gonna send it, I'm gonna send it off into the distance, right? Just let me straighten out the controller so it's facing forward. If I send it out to a, a distance, and I want to know that it's coming back at me. If I lose, if I lose sight of it, right? Like right now, I've lost. It's out there a little ways. I can't see it. I can turn it around, and now it's facing right back at me, right? And now I want to bring it back. And if I've lost perspective of it or where it actually is. I'm gonna, you know, push the stick forward, and I should see one of the things I keep an eye on is down here at the bottom, the D, the distance in meters from me. That should be coming down. So I should see it go from 44 to 43 to 42. If it's going the opposite direction, I'm going the wrong way. That comes in handy quite a bit. So now I'm coming back at me. You see it coming down, 35. 28, 29. And the wind blew it a little bit. I know it's coming back in the right direction. So that's a really handy tip. The distance at the bottom in meters or feet, however you have it set, is going to be really helpful when you lose sight of your spark. It goes, you know, it goes behind the trees or whatever. I can see real easily it's at least coming in the right direction, right? So
Right now I have the spark facing straight out, right? But if my perspective changes, if I change the way I'm standing with the controller, facing this way, the spark's facing that way, you can see the attitude indicator still facing that direction. So the blue line's your horizon, the red is your drone, which way it's facing, and the little white ticker at the top is really just a zero line indicator. Um, it, it, it doesn't move. What I have noticed is once I go out pretty far, if I go out pretty far, um, usually I've got to go out a ways before you'll see the drone move away from the uh, center point, which is home, where the remote controller is. So as you see, it going further and further out. See it moving away from that white center point. That's where the, that's where I am. So still going. Right now, it's almost 100 meters. Okay, we're over 100 meters, and. At 100 meters, you see it's moved away from that home point, and you keep going, keep going. You got to get, you got to get pretty far out there um, to get outside of the circle. Then I'll turn it around, point it back home, and bring it back toward me. And again, I should see the distance dropping. I should see it coming back. All right, 143. It's coming down. Right? So at least I know I've lost sight of it, but I know it's coming back. Right? Of course, you can always hit your return to home and do it that way as well. But this also gives me pretty good perspective of where things are at. notice down in the attitude indicator uh, percentage of power 33% right right now 34% now as I send this out you're gonna see that that's an additional feature shows up only in sport mode so you'll see that change in relation to how much power um, the spark is using. so let me send this forward they so went up to about 96 there Okay, I'm getting a low battery warning, so I'm going to bring it back. That's it guys. Hope you found this helpful. Uh, again, if you're not a current subscriber, please think about subscribing. And for all the people that have subscribed, I do appreciate it. Stay tuned, I got more videos to come. Again, hope you found this helpful. Uh, I found that uh, there wasn't a whole lot of information out there on this, so I had to do my homework a little bit as well to, to try to address as many issues as I could when it came to the attitude indicator. Thanks again. Have a good day, guys.
Well, it's just another Friday in paradise. So bring your A game, cause you know this party won't stop. We could never run out of time, sipping strawberry lime. You know I wanna share it with you. This is going boom, boom. If you're looking for some.